C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 4 titled math magic book 4 textbook in mathematics for class 4 chapter 11 titled tables and shares part 2 jumping animals Do you remember the jumping animals of class 3? A frog jumps 3 steps at a time starting from 0. There is a diagram of snake given on page number 124. On the snake's diagram there are numbers written on it. Starting from 0 to 67. Also there are frog and rabbit sitting next to the number 0. Frog jumps Three steps at a time, starting from zero. You have to tell how many steps will it jump, according to the question given here. Count the jumps he takes to reach twenty-seven. So he has taken twenty-seven divided by three is equal to dash jumps. He has taken dash jumps. If he is at thirty-six. If he is at forty-two, he has taken dash jumps. Starting from zero, a rabbit jumps five steps at a time. In how many jumps does he reach twenty-five? Dash. He reaches dash after taking eight jumps. He needs dash jumps to reach fifty-five. Practice time. One. Twenty-eight divided by two is equal to two. Fifty-six divided by seven is equal to three. Forty-eight divided by four is equal to four. Sixty-six divided by six is equal to five. Ninety-six divided by eight is equal to six. One hundred and ten divided by ten is equal to. Children have done similar kinds of exercises for multiplication and division in class three. Refer to pages one hundred and seventy-three to one hundred and seventy-six, Math Magic, Class Three, N C E R T. Page number one hundred and twenty-five. Seashells. Dhruv lives near the sea. He thought of making necklaces for his three friends. He looked for seashells the whole day. He collected one hundred and twelve seashells by evening. Now he had many different colorful and shiny shells. Now here on page number one twenty-five, Dhruv is sitting near the sea and looking at the colorful seashells collected by him and saying, "I will make a necklace." Of twenty-eight shells, will these shells be enough to make necklaces for all my friends? He took twenty-eight shells for one necklace. That is, one hundred and twelve minus twenty-eight is equal to eighty-four. Now he was left with eighty-four shells. Again, he took twenty-eight more shells for the second necklace. How many shells are left now? Dash. Then he took shells for the third necklace. So he was left with dash shells. How many necklaces can Dhruv make from one hundred and twelve shells? Dash. Are the shells enough for making necklaces for all his friends? Dash. Try these. A. Kannu made a necklace of seventeen seashells. How many such necklaces can be made using one hundred seashells? Encourage children to solve questions based on division with large numbers, for which they do not know multiplication tables using repeated subtraction. More problems based on real life contexts can be given. Page number. One hundred and twenty-six. B. One carton can hold eighty-five soap bars. Shelley 
wants to pack 338 soap bars. How many cartons does she need for packing all of them? C. Manpreet wants 1500 sacks of cement for making a house. A truck carries 250 sacks at a time. How many trips will the truck make? A driver charges rupees 500 for a trip. How much will Manpreet pay the driver for all the trips? Gangu sweets. Gangu is making sweets for Eid. He has made a tray of 80 laddus. Here on page number 126 there is a picture given. In this picture or diagram Gangu is making sweets. A tray full of 80 laddus is kept next to him. There are 6 packets of laddu given. 3 out of 6 are full of 4 laddus each. And three packets are empty. A girl named Rabia is standing at Gangu's shop to get twenty-three small boxes of laddu. She needs four laddus in each box. Now you have to answer some of the questions based on the picture description given. Are the sweets in the tray enough to pack twenty-three small boxes? Dash. How many more sweets are needed? Dash. For solving this problem, encourage children to use their own strategies of making groups in the tray using multiplication to do division or repeated subtraction, etc. Page number one hundred and twenty-seven. Gangu also has a bigger box in which he packs twelve laddus. How many boxes does he need for packing sixty laddus? Practice time. One. Nilu brought fifteen story books to her class. Today, forty-five students are present. How many children will need to share one book? Two. A family of eight people needs sixty kg wheat for a month. How much wheat does this family need for a week? Three. Razia wants change for rupees five hundred. Here. On page number one hundred and twenty-seven, along with question three, a five hundred rupee note has been given. How many notes will she get if she wants in return? A. All hundred rupee notes. Dash. B. All fifty rupee notes. Dash. C. All twenty rupee notes. Dash. D. All five rupee notes. Dash. You have to distribute seventy-two tomatoes equally in three baskets. How many tomatoes will there be in each? There are three hundred and fifty bricks in a hand cart. Binod found the weight of a brick to be two kgs. What will be the weight of all the bricks? You were just listening to chapter number eleven, titled. Tables and shares, part two. Voiceover artists: Shalini Singh and Vibhav Shrivastav. Sound recordists: Butelang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar. Assistance in production by Shanu Mukseem and Kusum Lata. Producer. Vimlesh Chaudhary This book was presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India